Well, once again, here we are with another video of uh, Fort Frederick. I'll be tying these all together. So, what's... Uh, we have all the French flags running along the line. French Marines, Lassar, Ladoc, Regiment de la Reine, the King's Colors, and of course, you know the history of the white flag for the French. It is the sign of the Catholic faith, the purity of the Catholic faith. So, and we have Park Ranger Raphael. Oh, hello. How are you, Bill? Good. Raphael, you want to talk on my channel here about our muster today? Well, I'm quite excited, and I was actually meaning to talk to you about something, but uh, I'll leave that for after the filming. Okay. Very good. Yeah, I'm quite excited for today. There's a lot of uh, good energy here, and I just got here, and I'm tired, but just seeing all these 18th century uniforms is just making me so excited. I'm already woken up, so. Very good. Yeah. Well, we're going to interview a couple people here, and uh, so come out to Fort Frederick, see the French Indian War muster, and take a look at all the beautiful regimental flags that the French have to offer. Well, I'm going to walk the French flag line. There we have the French flag. That's got the two seams in it. Our colonel's colors isn't really flying much here. And it's got the cross seams in it. Regiment de la Reine, the Queen's Regiment. So the spectators, when they come to Fort Frederick for the French Indian War muster, they get to walk along the line of French flags. So, you know, a reenactment at one of these type of sites is usually only a half an hour to 45 minutes. So having displays like this to help educate the public about the French Indian War besides just battles is, uh, I think, very important so that history isn't forgotten. So over here we have Dumas, and they're all making fun of my YouTube videos. No, Bill, we're making fun of you. Your videos are fine. <laughs> it's just me they're making fun of. And there's Joe, world famous. Indian. <laughs> world famous latch on. Give me the guy in the white. So what's really neat is we have tourists walking around the camps. learning about French Indian War history. And that I think is really neat. But anyhow, I'll tie this with, in with some other videos. Thank you, stay safe, be kind, be courteous. Wow, the French flag, you know the history, all white for the purity of the Catholic faith and King Louis. Regiment de la Reine, the French Marines, Lassar, Gwynne. French flags, regimental flags. You don't see this very often. Hello, Bill Molino here with Bill's History and War Game World, and I'm here with Park Ranger Raphael, and I'm gonna let him take it away. Good day to you all. Welcome to Fort Frederick. Today, I would like to explain to you the significance and meaning of the Fort Frederick flag. Now, unfortunately, we do not have much wind today, but you can see the flag up there, and you can see the outline of the British Union flag and, and a black and yellow border that takes up much of the flag. Now, you Marylanders in the audience will notice that that black and yellow border is also in our state flag. Now, why is that? Well, it's a very interesting story. 
First off, I'll explain the Union flag. You may notice there's not a line, a red line in St. Andrew's cross in the background of the flag. That's because this line represents Northern Ireland, which wasn't officially added to the United Kingdom until 1801. Now the black and yellow is even more interesting. The black and yellow represents the Calvert family, more specifically, Frederick Calvert. Now the Calverts founded the colony of Maryland in the 17th century, 1634 to be precise. And you see, during the French and Indian War, when we were building this fort out on the frontier, we took a lot of money from Frederick Calvert's coffers. And you see, he was the proprietor of Maryland, a very unique position in the 13 colonies that basically had the powers of a king, of course, answering the, to the King of England, but still, they could levy taxes and raise their own armies. Now, since we took his money without asking, we decided to name the fort after Frederick Calvert. And the black and yellow, of course, is his family colors. And that is why our flag looks so beautiful. Very good. And, and what are we doing here at Fort Frederick this weekend? What's going on? Well, we are having a French and Indian War reenactment. Though there was never a battle here, we want to show you what conflict was like in the Seven Years' War, or the French and Indian War as we know it here in North America. Well, um, anything else you'd like to, to add, Raphael, before we say uh, goodbye to our viewers? Well, I would like to add that Fort Frederick is an amazing place, and you should visit it. All right. Well, thank you. Stay safe, be kind, be courteous, and thank you, Raphael, for doing this video for me. My pleasure, Bill.